I think one of the problems that in the early days of variety and variety stars who tried to transfer to television, it wasn't easy for them because they had no understanding of it. They'd learned to work radio and to make that work, and so voice became incredibly important and timing. But to be on screen was an unusual... So some took to it very easily. Arthur Askey was almost immediate in his ability to be able to reach through the screen almost. But in the main, they found it very hard to do. Very good, yes, I enjoyed that. <laughs> he put that in himself. Hello, you switched from there to there quick, didn't you? <laughs> Oh, I've got to watch you, Tesla. First time I've worked with him, you know. <laughs> I've got all the others lined up. Now watch it, Tesla. Give me time. <laughs> this business. I've got a brother broke his neck doing that, you know. Arthur Askey, the first big star on television to really talk to the camera and ad lib and turn around and talk to the camera over there. He's brilliant. And you never know why he's dropped off the radar, but I thought he was wonderful. Now, look, fellas, we're going to stand around all day like this. Yeah, what are we going to play? Let's play something. Yeah, what, what, what about this? At Night on the Bear Mountain by Borodin. Nah, we, we don't play anything like that. Well, if we played, it won't sound anything <laughs> like that, will it? I said to him one night when we were having dinner, I said, um, tell me something, Arthur. Do you ever feel any resentment of a little upstart like me suddenly coming along? You've done the lot. You've done... 50 seasons at the London Palladium and I'm coming along and there's my name all over the top of the bill and you're a name along the bottom. Does that offend you at all? And he said, no. He said, if your name wasn't up the top I wouldn't be working. Very sensible. I wouldn't Very be sensible. here because I'd come on here, he said, and there'd be no people here. Yeah. So that's all part of our business and that's what I loved about him, I think. He, he was generous. so... Generous. Yeah, he was generous and tremendously kind of adult about the whole thing. I thought of something more uh, nostalgic, you know, something old-fashioned and... No, no, well, no, don't say that. He'll go into that blasted bee song. Ah! <laughs> That's very cruel. I know, I've heard it. <laughs> ah! I'm not going to oh, say no, it. No, 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 look what you've done. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Listen, listen, stop. Whatever happened to Norman Wisdom? Listen. <laughs>